Obviously, it was a high-level game. You know, congratulations to Kent. I mean, they made the two biggest plays there at the end of the game with the rebound and then the stop on the, on the last possession. Questions? Halfway mark of the season, how would you describe your team? Um, a team that needs to get a lot better. Coach, what was um, different about your offense in the second half as opposed to the first half? Um, I thought it was similar in both halves. Um, I don't know what the percentages show there. I think they were, obviously we didn't make as many threes as we did in the first half from a percentage stand, efficiency standpoint. We made the same, actually made one more. But we didn't shoot it great. I thought our quality of shot in a couple key junctures, we took some bad shots. And when we did that, Kent made us pay at the other end. Coach, just talk about the emotion that your team had in the second half. It was a pure fist fight and classic Kent State action. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought at times, and I said this on the radio, I thought our effort and toughness was exceptional. Then I thought at other times we were really soft. It was feast or famine. Yeah, no question. Obviously, we get a couple of days off here with the bye week, um, you know, and then uh, and then uh, we'll get a chance to get back together on Monday and Tuesday and practice and worry about us and not an opponent. That's the one benefit of the bye week. I've never been a huge bye week fan in league play because I think it, you know, I, I, I want as much balance in league play for everyone as possible. Um, I know some of the other coaches don't feel that way, but that's okay. It's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. On Antonio Williams, well, we do that with everybody. You know, it's not just him. Obviously, he's a really, really good player and very tough. You know, I really, and now coaching against him for two years, um, and then watching him on film, you know, really appreciate and admire um, his toughness. First time you lost two in a row in a very long time. How do you think they bounce back from this? Yes, sir. I mean, I think we're pretty connected, George, but we'll see. You know, we got two days off, which will give us a chance to kind of, you know, we came back from Christmas. I thought the time, the extra time that we had really allowed us to get mentally and physically refreshed, and we came back uh, with a reinvigorated spirit uh, post-Christmas. I'm hoping that'll do the same thing here, and maybe that'll be the benefit, you know, of the bye week. And then Monday and Tuesday we'll, uh, we'll practice, and, you know, obviously we've got a lot of things that we need to work on and get better. Um, I, I thought the effort level, you know, for the most part, and obviously you'd have to ask Rob about his team. I don't want to come. My perspective as the opposing coach was they played really hard. I thought our guys played really hard as well. Uh, but I always give them, you know, the uh, Christmas Vacation is one of my favorite movies when Chevy Chase can't turn the lights on and he's kicking Santa Claus and the whole deal and his father-in-law comes out there and Chevy Chase's daughter says – He's getting, father-in-law is getting on Chevy Chase, and the daughter says, Grandpa, don't do that. He worked really hard. And Grandpa said, so do washing machines. You don't play hard in this game, and you don't work hard, you got no chance. I mean, we're not going to applaud, hey, man, we played hard. Yeah, you should do that. You know, we need to execute a little bit better, and our toughness needs to be more consistent. There were times where we showed tremendous toughness. And then there were other times where we let guys drive right to the basket and lay the ball over the front of the rim. That's not toughness. Coach, would consistency be something you would describe? When it comes to the toughness part tonight, yes. I thought our effort, for the most part, like the washing machine, uh, was fairly consistent. Um, I think guys wanted to play, had a good spirit about them. Obviously, we had 16 offensive rebounds. They had 13 or 14, I think. Guys were going to the glass like gangbusters on both sides. Guys were trying to make plays. Hard-fought game. And I appreciate and respect our guys' effort, and I appreciate and respect Kent's effort. But I just thought they made a couple more execution, toughness plays, especially down the stretch than we did. That ended up being the difference. No, that, you know, obviously it didn't work out. That wasn't what we were looking for, and uh, we just didn't execute it to the level that we needed to. How can you improve your toughness just going forward? 
Well, I think it's a mindset, right? I mean, I think if you're going to change any behavior um, in life, it's a mindset. And uh, it starts with mindset, and then mindset allows you to change uh, behavior. You have to think, um, hey, if this is, you know, I need to quit doing A in order to be tougher and execute better and be better, then I'm going to quit doing A. I'm going to make that choice mentally first, and then the behavior will change. You know, or I need to do more of B. Well, then if I make the choice, I'm going to do more of B. It's really important to me that I'm going to do B, you know, more. And so, you know, obviously we've got some things we've got to work on and and, uh, get better at. Um, I did not like the start to the second half. That's why I called the quick timeout. We threw it right to the other team, and then we had a really soft foul in the paint. That's not how we play that. And um, all of a sudden now, you know, they get a little momentum uh, from uh, coming back from the six-point halftime deficit in about 50 seconds. And, uh, you know, we got to be we got to be tougher than that. You know, I told him in a couple of timeouts, I just said, hey, look, man, I'll handle missed shots. We're going to make some mistakes. But I'll be done if we're going to watch some guy drive the ball right down the lane and shoot a layup with no resistance. Or we're not going to block people out. Or we're not going to, you know, we're going to do those things. And we got to do those things consistently. I thought in the second half they did those things better from a consistency standpoint. That doesn't mean that we didn't give effort or that we didn't make some tough plays. We did. We played, made some toughness plays. We made some. But when you're playing a team the quality of Kent in this environment, in this league, with the players that are on both teams being as good as they are, oftentimes the margin for error is very small. It seems that in more than a few games this year, you've had that second half problem. Can you pinpoint what's causing it? Well, the good thing is defensively tonight, I did think we kind of, you know, were able to impact the game defensively in the second half, George. But I would agree with you. I think in league play, there's been a handful of second halves where our defense has not been up to par, you know. But today I, I thought we battled uh, defensively. You know, we made too many mistakes. We needed to make a little bit more of a toughness play than they did. I thought they were in some key plays in the game, whether it's the offensive rebound at the end, you know, whether it's our ability to execute what we need to execute on the last play. You know, that's toughness. You know, I think some people when they hear about toughness, they think, you know, I'm going to try to run through that Pepsi machine in the back, and boy, he's tough for doing that. You know, there is a physical element to it, sure, but there's a mental element to it, too, to be able to do your job consistently on every play the way that we ask you to do it with great technique and great effort. To me, that's the hardest part of toughness, and tonight we did that some, but obviously just a play or two short or not enough to win the game. That we were in the same situation here last year, similar, you know, and, and a similar box score. I think we led. I, I think we led for the majority of the game. I, I, let me make sure I'm right. Twenty-one minutes plus, you know, and and but this is a forty-minute game. You know, we've got to play for forty minutes. We came to play forty minutes, and we need to come with the same effort and toughness that we had in the first half, the second half. And again, I thought it was hit or miss. I thought times we did, and times we didn't.